Let's take a moment and talk about the idea of making assumptions. And I'm not going to tell you don't make assumptions. I think you kind of have to do that just to get through life. But rather be aware of when you're making assumptions and be willing to change those assumptions as new information comes in. Having an assumption is an okay way to, to proceed forward with some caution. But getting arrogant about your assumptions, that's really ugly. I mean, arrogant assumptions don't do anybody any good, but they make you, the assumer, look like a fool. Proverbs said that if you trust in your own heart, you're a fool. <clears throat> so you make your assumption and, and you move forward on, on the best advice and information you have, but you don't totally trust in it that you insist and demand that everybody comply with, with your assumptions. Other people are going to see things different. And if you get so wrapped up in your own heart that, that you can't see anything else, <laughs> you become the fool. This is going to be very dangerous because of Matthew seven twenty one through 23. He talked about people who thought they were on the right path, <clears throat> but it turns out they weren't. And if you go back and read that passage in verse 23, he says, depart from me, I never knew you. That's getting pretty serious stuff there. Matthew 15, 14. You got a lot of folks making assumptions there too. He says, if the blind lead the blind, they both fall into the ditch. And you know, those blind leaders assumed they were certain, they were confident they were right. And yet they were wrong. And so just because a person really feels confident and they're certain to the core of their heart that they're right, we still have to have the honesty to understand that we don't always know what we think we know and back up and look at it and be willing to reconsider. And that's one of the toughest things because pride comes in and pride can do some magical things that it would deny, but it actually does them. People go, I know what he's thinking. No, I know what he said, but I know what he's thinking. I think that's, wow. You need to go, you know, to Hollywood and start a magic show if you can read people's minds like that. You see, that's just arrogance talking. When we know what somebody else is thinking, all we're doing is telling people what we think. No matter, no more know what another person's thinking than a man in the moon. But I'll guarantee you, probably somebody listening to this video goes, ha ha ha, preacher, I do know what other people are thinking. Well, okay. Jeremiah 10, 23 says, not a man who walks directs his own steps. Jeremiah 17, 9 says, the heart of man is desperately wicked. Uh, given the fact that if we trust in our heart, we're a fool, and that it's not in ourselves to direct our own steps and our heart is desperately wicked, we need to be really, really careful about our assumptions. Again, I'm not telling you you cannot make any assumptions ever. I'm just saying know when you're making an assumption and be aware that the facts could change your assumption. Don't get all proud and hung up on it and think you can read other people's minds and know what you're thinking. Psalms 119 and 105 says, Thy word is a light, a lamp unto my feet. And that's the direction we want to go. We want to be moving in a way that is really guided by the scripture. And if we'll really let the scripture guide us, and man, we could build on this one for a while, but just go read 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. That's that classic definition of love. And if you will proceed forward with your assumptions based on that scriptural, that, what, that divine definition of love, and you won't have to worry about arrogance and pride and the ugly things of assumptions sneaking into your life because your assumptions will be tempered by divine love. And if they're tempered by divine love, you're going to be divinely lovable. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Something to think about? Give it some thought. Meditate deeply upon it because surely none of us would ever be guilty of making arrogant assumptions. But if you just should happen to make a mistake one in a million times, correct it and get back on that divine love and keep moving forward. And of course, as always, have a great day.